What's up guys, Joe Munoz, OneStepPrep.com in another video and before we jump into it, do me a solid and just dominate that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. I want to talk to you today about the flight path vector, FPV, or the flight path angle, FPA, all right? Tomato, tomato, potato, potato, Boeing, bus, whatever, okay? Pretty much the same thing. For this example, we got a 767 model, happened to be the one in the classroom. Let's talk about what it is. Pitch attitude, firstly, is where the pitch, where the nose is pointing, okay? Now, flight path angle is where the aircraft is going in space, not where it's pointing, where it's going in space. Now, to illustrate that clearly, imagine for a moment, we are on the approach with a slightly nose high pitch attitude, which is pretty much true of jets that have leading edge high lift devices like slats and flaps. Okay, so, so now we're on the approach, we're slightly nose high, but we're actually sinking. In other words, we're going down this direction. So the aircraft's trending this way with a nose high pitch attitude. You follow what I'm saying? And this is true on every approach, right? That this is pretty well how it works. Now, where the aircraft is actually going in space, reference to the horizon, that direction is what we would see the FPA reflecting. In other words, we would actually see the vectors below the horizon showing that the body of the aircraft is going below the horizon in space. Now, this is very useful information for two reasons that I'm going to share with you now. Okay, let's first go back to this pitch attitude. If you're up here and you are stalled, meaning that you're actually pointed nose high in this example, but you're actually going this way, right? You're trending down. You see that angle that's created between the pitch attitude and the marker right there? That is the angle of attack, AOA, all right? The pitch attitude, the difference between pitch attitude and flight path angle is AOA, angle of attack. And for me to recover from the stall, really all I need to do is reduce that angle to zero, right? So bring the pitch attitude down to the flight path vector and that would effectively recover me from the stall. So having the bird on or the FPA, FPV is a great tool for not only stall recovery but for unusual attitude recovery and it's also a great tool on visual approaches. When you have it on and you simply place the bird on the bottom of the horizon. I'm going to share it with you here on the wall. Take a walk with me here to the whiteboard, okay? See if I can record and do this at the same time. If this is your attitude indicator and you just simply put the bird with the tail touching the bottom of the horizon, just like that, I would expect on approach to see about a somewhere between two and a half and five degrees. So about say a positive four degree pitch attitude. The bird is touching just the bottom of the horizon. And this boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages is gonna give you an approximate three degree rate of descent. Roughly 750 feet per minute consistent with three degrees what we always fly usually, usually on ILS approaches, on non-precision approaches, on all approaches is about a three degree path, okay? So what am I getting to? It's a great tool, use it. I find a lot of pilots don't use it, frankly, for lack of familiarity. They don't, they, they're not sure how it works, they haven't been trained on it, but use it. You can use it usually also in your steep turns, okay? Sometimes some examiners and some uh, guidance and curriculums will tell you that you can't use it on a steep turn, but I'm going to share with you, it's a great tool that you have, it's available to you, and make it a point to learn it well. I am in my flight academy, One Step Prep Academy, okay, and I share this with you because a lot of you don't know, we actually offer type ratings here, 737 and A320. You can also do an ATP, CTP course, initial, recurrent, upgrade, requal, circling restriction removal. We do not only do videos online, we very much have uh, uh, access to and a fully functional with several classrooms. We have a, a great facility here that's ready for you to come in and do training with us. If you're interested in acquiring a type rating with us, what better than to come and get trained with your with your friends here, Juan and Joe, your friends and training program success at One Step Prep. Come get your type rating, come get your FAA ATP license with us. We'd love to have you in one of our classrooms here and not just work with you on video or virtually, but here in person. All right, we'll see you in Miami. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in another video.